Hello and welcome. This is Roofmonger, and in this edition of Let's Learn Dragon Ball Fighters, we're going to be talking about how to use assists in combos. So this has actually been a heavily requested video, and for a while I kind of put it off making it because I'm like, just do the assist and do the combo. What's the problem, you know? And I realized maybe for a lot of people it's not so quite cut and dry because, uh, you know, you wouldn't be asking if it wasn't an issue for some people. So first here, let's talk with a long video stalwart here, Android 21. You see, if you watch any of my videos, you've probably seen her quite a bit. So, uh, generally speaking, uh, something like this. Like, you know, just a very basic combo. And I use the assist and I basically get the whole thing off again, right? So what makes it easy for her and her specifically, uh, and this won't be every character game, I'm just using her as a base here is she has her medium airdrop in the air brings the foe to the ground so when the foe uh, crashes the ground what makes it easy for me to time and assist or you know whatever assist it'll be the key thing is here i'm hitting the ground with you so yeah you're hitting the ground you'll bounce back up sure and i hit the ground too so i know exactly where i am on the screen relative to you so normally if you're doing like a really big combo in the air and uh, let's use Vegeta's example here like how on earth will I know when to call Android 16 in this situation for his assist uh, I can't see the ground I you know it's very difficult to me to get any sort of bearing it's just quite difficult overall versus Android 21 we hit the ground together once again so since we're both on the ground at the same point then all the thing all of a sudden everything gets a lot easier because you know I can see the, the camera switching down with me, then I can just as easily jump up and you know, go with it. Now, not everyone has the style of move, as I mentioned before. So, Android 16 uh, is another case here where he will have the move. So, he can just do that, you know, just as easily, and then have someone else, you know, help him recombo, right? And not every character is going to have it. So, off the top of my head, I'm just spitballing here. Uh, Vegeta Blue with a dunk, Majin Boo also has something like that. But not every character is going to have that. So let's use Vegeta now as a new base. So in this situation here, Vegeta is more of our everyman. Uh, he doesn't have something like Android 16 or Majin Buu or whatever to bring you back on the ground and recombo. Uh, he doesn't got anything on that. Uh, the only way he's going to bring you back to the ground if you brought you up in the air is uh, smashing down the old fashioned way. And you know, that is not easy to recombo off of. Like, we can call our assists here and you know, they're just going to miss for the most part unless we have just utterly you know minute frame perfect timing that's no good for nobody so what we're gonna do here is don't wait till the end of the combo let's look at something a little more basic so you know a common uh you know a starter for vegeta uh, for vegeta something like that right so before the launch here let, let's just not do the launch let's think of something else so let's do something like this So when you know it, we just got our combo anyways, and we managed to use the assist as well. So for characters like Vegeta, and this is going to apply to a lot of characters in the game, what we want to do here is we don't want to do that big launcher at the start. We don't want to send them, you know, a million miles in the air. We want to wait on that first second. So uh, using Tien, and Tien is one of the better assists for recombos. So we are just kind of calling Tien as we're landing here. So we're not going for the big combo yet, as you can see there. We can wait for the big combo after we see Tien hits and then we can go into our normal combo chain from there so if we call the assist early on in the combo yeah it's going to scale a lot harder uh, if you did watch the combo scaling video you know assist scale a uh, decent about harder than most of the other things but still it's going to be more damage than you're going to get otherwise by yourself so this is kind of the delineation so a character like Vegeta uh, and uh, this style of assist combo will work for pretty much everyone in the game and, you know, it can work for multiple assists. So, like, someone like a Yamcha here, we really got to change our timing here because uh, the time I'm used for Tien, it just simply isn't going to work, as you can see there. So, if we delay him a little bit, there we go, as you see there, then we get what we need. So, we got to delay our hit. Or even better yet, we can just change up the combo once again so for some people here for some assists here what's good for Tian was not necessarily good for Yamcha for Yamcha to do it the way we did it for Tian is going to be quite a bit more difficult now all things being equal once again you're going to do more damage no matter what but uh for 
sometimes uh, if you do the uh, assist really early in the combo, it might not be worth the extra scaling you're going to get. So uh, test out what you consider your normal basic bread and butter combo, then test out a uh, combo using assist that's quite early on. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is just running through a quick uh, few more examples just using some various characters here. So that's another example combo with a move that'll bring you down to the ground. So not in any way, shape, or form an optimal combo, just an example. And here's another example. So in this example, I use young Gohan to extend adult Gohan's corner combo by just a little bit here. So basically I got an extra set of rep at the beginning I would not normally get if I just went normally into the launch combo into the traditional launcher. So I get to land and add more hits to my combo. So something like this is, once again, uh, as we use Vegeta as our example here, uh, fairly universal for the most part here. So you can just do, you know, uh, sweep launcher and the stand medium, jump cancel, and maybe, uh, depending on the character and the assist you have, maybe you have to go right into heavy into assist. Uh, which, you know, doesn't work so good in this example here, as young Gohan's gonna miss. But in this situation also, he'll hit if we do medium and the heavy. So you're going to have to play around a little bit. Uh, this is what I was trying to say in the comments earlier about people asking about this video is each character is going to be unique to each assist. Not every situation is going to work for each character with every single assist. Now, a few assists here, like, you know, the Gokus, uh, Tien, uh, Vegeta, they're pretty much universally useful and you can figure out just about anything, but I'm going to show you one more example here of tailoring your combo to your assist. Alright, so Android 16. He is my most played character by a lot, so I've learned a lot of permutations of combos with him. And for the most part, my standard bread and butter combo looks something like this. It uh, doesn't matter what I do, whatever into it, but I uh, go into the shoulder charge, and then I do this. And this works on everyone in the game, except for Kid Boo and Gotenks, because they're little, and that's annoying. But besides that, right? So, uh, I often team Nappa with Android 16. So if I have Nappa in the back, I have uh, this assist to my name. So I can go something like this. And Nappa lets me combo and whatever have you. And just to show you this is not a corner only thing here. So Nappa easily lets me re-combo. And I can do that anywhere on the screen and whatever have you, right? It just It's not an issue. It's super easy. And now let's try the exact same combo with Cell. Oh, Cell so miss. Well, maybe I was just too slow. Let's just think about that, right? Maybe I was too slow. Let's try it a bit quicker. Oh, Cell so missed. And long story short, there's no way I get Cell to hit uh, outside of the corner. In the corner, yeah, I can get him to hit. But outside the corner, not a chance. It's not going to work. So do I just give up on Cell? Or do I try to edit the combo? So I edited the combo. And when you know it, I can get Cell to work. So... Here's an edited combo that does slightly less damage, but sometimes you have to make these sacrifices. Uh, but here's the same combo with Cell hitting. So I gave up a little bit of damage there, yes. Uh, it does not do as much as the Nappa version, but it still does a lot more than just ending the combo there and having no assist. So that's the thing you got to work with, is... You know, not all assists are going to get you the same amount of damage. So in this particular combo with the Android 16, Nappa is just straight up going to get me more damage in the combo than Cell. It's not a lot more, but it is still more. And more damage always equal more better, right? But that's the essence of what I'm talking about. You're really going to, not only are you going to have to, you know, figure out timing, figure out your own, uh, you know, play style, what the, how the characters gel together. So uh, this Android 16 combo I had works perfect with Nappa. I had to dumpster it when I use Cell. Because Cell, I need a different combo because when I use uh, the combo involving this move in the air, Cell just can't connect. There's nothing that'll do the connect. So I instead switch it to the Light Punch version of the air grab, and all of a sudden it works. So you got to make some uh, compromise in this situation, but it's almost near impossible. I won't say, uh, you know, it's completely impossible. For some people, it is going to be near impossible, but you can fit almost any character and have almost any assist work with you and you can make it work somehow. Sometimes it might be corner only. Sometimes, you know, 
there's going to be some extenuating circumstances where you're just going to have to hail Mary at the top of the screen. Then you're going to have to get that, that timing frame perfect to make sure they hit the ground when you can't even see them. And that's what the assist is waiting for them. Uh, certain things like that. Like, you know, Nap is a big proponent of that where, you know, I got to do the clap. And I'm waiting for him. I, I didn't get that time, but you get the idea here. I do the clap. And the assist is waiting for him, and I screwed it up again. But of course I do, because that's how it always works in these videos. But you get the idea. Um, I have to do uh, assist call-out timing, where I can't even see what's going to happen, because it's at the bottom of the screen, and I just hope I connect on the way down. And, you know, that's a really frustrating kind of combo to drop when everything happened off screen and you just had to hope you did the timing right. You know, you don't even get the, the pleasure of visually seeing what's going on. But that's what I'm trying to say is the essence of got to practice, practice, practice. No two characters are going to be the same interacting with point character and assist. You just got to try it out and figure it out for yourself. Uh, but I hope some of these basic building blocks I gave you will help you uh, steer you into a right direction. Because I know, uh, as many people have commented, this whole concept can be a little bit frustrating. But anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.